Yeah, boy. Okay. Hello, guys. Chris P here, and welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, is a very special Sunday because I got to replace my favorite GPU in my collection, which was the GTX Titan. This is the original one from 2013. I already made a Sunday video on it. This was my favorite one because, well, it's a Titan. I just... I think they look beautiful. And a couple of weeks ago, I found this GTX Titan X for 300 bucks, 300 euros on eBay, which was kind of a high price to pay for a Titan X, but I just, I couldn't uh, pass it. It was a thousand dollar GPU back in 2015, and that was a crazy amount to pay for a graphics card back then. And it was very similar in performance to the GTX 980 Ti, but of course this one, instead of having six gigabytes of VRAM, it boasts 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is crazy. Even for today, you know, the 3080 has 10 gigabytes. Also, another interesting thing that I wasn't really expecting in this card is that it came with a backplate. You actually had to buy these separately back when the Titan X launched. I just noticed it's, it's reflecting the Swarm's logo. Oh, it looks so beautiful! So let's just shut up about the GeForce GTX Titan because otherwise I'll be here all day talking about it in the intro and let's install this in the system and actually play some games with it, shall we? And the GPU is now installed, you can see it right there in MSI Afterburner as well as Tech Power Ups GPU-Z if you want to check all of its specs and a GeForce Experience, we're running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers for 61.40 and I'm also running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigs of RAM. Now, it's overkill for a Titan X, I know, but this is a GPU test, so we don't want to bottleneck it. Let's get into our first game, which is The Witcher 3. Okay, let's go over the settings. We're playing at 4K resolution using the ultra settings with no NVIDIA hair works. Here everything is enabled, except for motion blur. Now, if you were to play this at 1080p resolution, you can rest assured that it will do 60 plus FPS all of the time. I actually started off by testing 1080p, but I remember that people were actually testing testing 4K with this GPU back in 2015, so um, I decided to test The Witcher 3 at 4K, and you know what, I'm glad I did, because this is still very playable, it's not a 60 FPS experience, for that you'd probably need two Titan X's in SLI at the time, um, but you know what, it's, it's still extremely playable, the 1% lows are well above 30 FPS, uh, the frame times are very stable and smooth as well, so there's no stutter issues oh god why why am i oh why am i punching him uh just just use your yes okay okay oh god oh god okay okay oh every time he attacks me there are some frame time spikes by the way and he's gone so let's keep on moving i guess <laughs> as you can see even here with all of this foliage around us it's, it's looking gorgeous still, this game still looks amazing. I wouldn't play like this, I would prefer like a 1440p experience at 60fps or 1080p at 60+, plus. but if you had a 4K monitor back in 2015 and really wanted to max out this game at 4K resolution, I guess the Titan X can do it at 30 FPS. Not too bad, is it? All right, guys, we're now playing Call of Duty Warzone at 1080p resolution using the highest settings, basically, except for these over here, which I don't like. And okay, here we are. Let's start counting our FPS. Look at that RAM and VRAM utilization, by the way. It's completely insane. I there's a, there's a guy. I, oh, okay, oh, we downed one, nice. I did not expect to do this, <laughs> especially not with this kind of ping, you know, it's, this is insane. Okay, so this is the most demanding little spot in the downtown area, and we're still above 60 FPS. What the heck is this site? I've never seen this one before. It's purple, Digimon would love it. Also, you can see that the frame time graph is very, very smooth. There isn't a single stutter to speak of in this game. Oh boy, okay, don't kill me, guys. I'm just testing a GPU here. I'm gonna try to get that guy actually. Oh, he's dead. Okay, what? What just happened? How is he dead? Let's see. Yep, 61, 62. What the? What? What? Oh, that was one of those balloons, probably. Okay, yep. Oh, all right. You know what? That's that's definitely enough. 
Okay, it's time for GTA 5 and we're playing it at 4K resolution using these settings, like very high settings I would say, and advanced settings are all turned off because they are very very demanding. Alright guys, let's start counting our frames and look at that! It is looking extremely smooth and, and beautiful and crispy, just how I like it, you know? And look at those frames, it's actually above 60. Okay! This is not bad. <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting a little bit slower than this, not gonna lie. I kind of expected around 50 FPS on average, but wow, this is insane. Concentration now, I don't want to hit anybody. Okay, never mind. <laughs> get out, get out, get out, people. This is so good. This game is actually using up to 6 gigabytes of VRAM at 4K. This is the most intensive area in my benchmark run. As you can see, it's dropping into the 40s. Still okay, still playable. Hi Jack, you're white today. Why? Why did you, I don't... He's always changing color. Getting drops into the low 40s here, but it's still completely playable. Like 100%, especially after playing this on a G100 yesterday and getting 17 FPS at the... 300p resolution. <laughs> All right, guys, we're now playing Metro Exodus at 1440p, high settings, and I've actually played this one at medium settings already, and I was quite surprised with the performance. We got 100 FPS average and 77 1% lows at medium. Okay, here we are. Oh my gosh, it's looking even more beautiful than medium settings. I'm gonna start counting the frames. I think I will start including Metro Exodus a little bit more often here in these videos. Just look at that sunset, it's so gorgeous, oh my gosh. This is still a very, very smooth experience. Like, it's well above 60 FPS, I can't go there for some reason. It's a little bit clunky, oh my gosh, what the heck are you doing here? Get away, get away from me, okay, okay. It's dropping into the 30s and 40s and stuff in this cutscene. I guess it's only kind of a cutscene anyway, so as long as it doesn't drop whenever you're playing the game it's fine but i did not expect that okay <laughs> oh my god what the hell okay everything is fine no no why oh another one okay let's move this way by the way i remember absolutely nothing from the walkthrough so i i don't know what i'm doing here uh please please die are these enemies? Oh yes they are. Okay, okay. Uh, I thought I was actually in my camp, you know, but no, this is not it. Yep, definitely. Okay, alright, there are many, many enemies here. I don't like this. Yes, yes, we got bullets, tons of bullets here. We can go out, guns blazing now. Yeah, boy, yeah, it wrecked. I'm glad I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, probably. <laughs> I always am. What? What? What is happening? <laughs> we just clipped into each other. <laughs> Alright then, that was amazing. <laughs> and we're now playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Very demanding game from 2020. 1080p resolution, 100% resolution scale using the high settings with low anti-aliasing. As you can see, pretty much everything is set to high. No motion blur as well. And... Look at these frames, guys. You can still play Valhalla on a six-year-old card. Absolutely fine. We're approaching the shore right now, which is pretty much the most intensive area in my benchmark run. And as you can see, it's dropping into the 40s. But it's not too bad, you know, I think this game is completely playable with 40 plus FPS, it's a single player title anyways. You know, a 60 FPS plus experience would be great, but considering that this game is not really the most well optimized game out there, it's far from it, it's a Ubisoft title after all. <laughs> I think the Titan X is still doing a really good job. As you can see, once you get out of towns and settlements, you can get 60 plus FPS. You know what? I am quite pleased with these results. Around 60 FPS on average at high settings is definitely great in Valhalla. Holy! Okay, so it's time for somewhat of an odd title because it's a Ubisoft title, but it runs really well, which is very weird. So we're playing at 1440p 90 FOV using the ultra settings with 100% render scaling. Okay, here we go friends, I'm just gonna check if the fire is as contagious as Valhalla and it's not, you can't even, you can't even burn yourself. Okay, okay, we're inside getting around 90 FPS. It's not a high refresh rate experience on ultra settings, but 
if you want that you can always play on low of course for a competitive experience i'm just being really careful now i really don't want to die right away like as usual <laughs> What? There's a guy. Okay. Okay, we got one. <laughs> Didn't really expect that one to be there. Got another one. All right. We're fine. We're doing fine. There's another one. And we got another one. All right. Three down. Two to go. Actually, only one to go. I'm gonna plant the diffuser now. Please protect me, my teammates. All right. We know where the last one is now. Let's see if I can... There we go. There we go. That's the quad kill, baby. Yeah, boy. Where? What the hell? So that's really sucked. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? They're here. I heard them. They're right here. Yeah! Oh, come on! No! He was so low HP. And we're playing Apex Legends now at 1440p using the high settings with no anti-aliasing. You know what, guys? This is not bad at all. We're getting around 60 FPS while dropping and looking at the entire map, which is extremely demanding in Apex Legends. We are approaching the waterfall area now with another squad, which is kind of bad. And this is pretty much the most intensive area in this map. Oh my god. Okay, why? Oh, oh, all right, all right. All right, we got one, we got one. We're below 60 FPS, which is kind of bad. But he's... Uh, let's start counting our frames here. I expected a little bit better, actually. The good thing is, if you drop the resolution or the settings, you can definitely get 60 plus even in the waterfall. It still drops from 60 FPS in the grassy areas because... Grass is also very intensive for some reason in this game. 40s. Um, to be honest, it's still not too bad, you know. Uh, but I will definitely choose to lower the graphics a little bit. Maybe medium or low settings to achieve 60 plus at all times. And now my boys are dead. Please leave the game so I don't have to recover your things. <laughs> Coming. Okay. All right. All right. We're fine. I think I can handle this. Where's the other guy? I don't know. Jesus. You know what? I might as well just go here. Yep, there we go. Let's get away. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hello. How are you? Oh, that was the other guy, I think. Yep, we're dead. And we're now playing the beautiful game that is Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing at 1440p using the medium settings. Some things are still on high or ultra or low or off, but uh, it's just the preset right here. In DirectX 12, I was getting like 47 FPS right here and not touching 50 too often and now we're well above 50 at times so uh yeah definitely play with vulcan api if you have a titan x or a 980 ti and stuff anyways as you can see at 1440p this is actually very impressive my friends i I didn't really expect 50 FPS average here, and we're in the swamp area uh, around Saint Denis, by the way. We're gonna visit the town in just a little bit to see our frames there, but this is this is awesome. This is a, a very, very playable experience. I think in Red Dead 2, you only need like 30 FPS to be able to enjoy the game properly, and uh, yeah, we're, we're well above 30 FPS. Now in more open areas, you can actually touch 60 FPS at times, which is very impressive like it's 1440p resolution in a recent title that is very very intensive look at that guys we're still getting around 50 fps in the city this is really good such an amazing experience okay six year old card provides this experience in red dead 2 all right so 53 frames per second on average let's get to the next one all righty it's time for PUBG at 2560 by 1440 100 percent resolution scale using the ultra settings so the map is erangel and that only means one thing we're going to pachinki i could use a little bit less sensitivity to be honest this is not gonna go well <laughs> all right people are dropping here in pachinki with us Okay, just picked up a few things and I th oh god no the stutter the stutter I can't disable the model there when when I tab in for some reason it gave me an option in an earlier build of the game but not anymore anyways here we are looking at beautiful pochinki from above and we're getting 90 fps couple of stutters because the game's still loading a few things overall it's a really smooth experience all right we got him 
<laughs> All right then. Okay, so I just got the M249, guys. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna do anything with it. Oh, he was looting the other guy. Okay. Let's go third person for a little bit so you guys can see the FPS here. And it's still pretty much the same. I think it's a little bit less intensive in third person because the FOV is slightly smaller. And look at that VRAM utilization, by the way. Six gigabytes at 1440p ultra it's slowly dropping yes it will drop from 60 as you can see it's probably gonna drop from 40 because uh, i guess smokes are extremely intensive in pubg as you can see 39 right there i would avoid throwing smokes and getting inside of them it might actually be good if someone is playing say for example with a 1050 ti or a 960 and you throw a smoke and they get like 15 frames per second or 20. <laughs> i'm hearing somebody oh 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 that's that's a bot. That's definitely a bot. That's the bad thing about PUBG. There are bots everywhere now. That's another bot. <laughs> okay. And it's time for Watch Dogs Legion at 1440p 80 FOV using the high settings preset. Just gonna disable motion blur over here. I might be overestimating the power of the Titan X again, but let's see what it can do. Is this really high settings? Are you kidding me? Wait a, wait a second, wait a second, this can't be, this can't be right. What? It is on high, right? High settings uses 4.4 gigabytes of VRAM, it's, it's close to that, oh boy. I, I, I was really not expecting around 60 FPS, oh my god. Why are there so many motorcycles which are the same? Like, look at this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> This is proving to be quite a very good experience, as you can see. That the game tends to stutter just a little bit and it has nothing to do with the GPU. It's just the game itself. Okay, I want to get close to the water right now, you know, to the river, because that's usually where your FPS are going to drop the most here in Watch Dogs Legion. Oh boy, okay, yep, yeah, I didn't want to get into the river, but that works as well. Uh, <laughs> it dropped into the 30s there, but it's still so good. Like, 40s. Low 40s, mid 40s, looking at the river. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is running this well on a Titan X. I totally, totally underestimated this card. It's not a 60 FPS experience, but it's still well above 40 FPS at all times. This is awesome. This is really good. <laughs> Alright, let's play the least enjoyable Battlefield in my opinion. This is Battlefield 5 at 1440p. Everything is off right here because I don't like these effects. And everything is set to Ultra right here on the advanced settings. Let's go. Okay, very beautiful map indeed. And look at this. Oh boy. Right, let's start counting the frames and go. Look at that. 80 FPS in Battlefield 5 at 1440p ultra settings. Get over here. I'm going with you. I want to go with you. God damn it. Look at the fish, guys. Oh yes, you can you can actually do some diving here in Battlefield 5. Oh boy, okay. Oh no no, what is happening? That's probably a tank, right? Oh Jesus, what the heck? It was probably this plane, which is very bugged right now. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. There's an enemy, there's an enemy right here. Okay, I got him, I got him, everything's fine. Got another one, and got another one, there we go. We're fine, we're doing this, I'm sorry buddy, I couldn't revive you. Oh boy, nope, 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 not gonna go that way. Got another one there, and... Oh, he moved slightly. Okay, he's down, and there's another one. Alright, we got this, we got this, can I kill him with... No, you know what, I'm in an extremely good position, they don't know that I'm here, so I can kind of take them out one by one there we go and there we go and we should be capable of doing yep there is another one there okay okay no okay well you know what that's enough i actually had a little bit of fun there and i'm third place in my team killed eight people it's very smooth it's not a high refresh rate experience but it's really, really nice. Right now we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn at 1440p resolution, 80 FOV using the medium settings, which are the same as the consoles, you know? You know what? I definitely play like this because 
as it is a single player title, again, you don't need 60 FPS all of the time. Oh yes, we're in heaven again, my friends, look at that. I'm always tempted to make the thumbnails for these Sunday videos with this, the lens flares coming from Horizon Zero Dawn because it's just, it's really good looking and it does for a good background effect, you know. Uh, but anyways, let's attack those very big boys right there. This one spits fire. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So, didn't really drop our FPS by much. I don't think that the effects here in this game are too intensive. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. Dropped into the 40s, as you can see again. Low 40s to mid 40s. Not too bad still. Jesus, stop it, stop it. That's enough. It's, 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 all right, everything is fine now. And there's the other one. <laughs> this one spits like ice and the other one spits fire. So that's very good. <laughs> you know what? This is pretty chaotic, but the Titan X is doing a fine job, I would say. Medium settings, again, looks awesome. And 40 plus FPS at all times is what I'd aim for in a game like this single player title. So... Yeah, it's good to go if you have a Titan X. We died. <laughs> so 53 frames per second on average and 44% lows. You'd get higher averages if you were just walking around and not killing enemies. Time for a recent but very lightweight title. This is Valorant. We're playing at high settings. UI quality set to low because it doesn't really matter in a game like this. MSAA anti-aliasing set to four times and we're playing it at 1440p resolution. Oh my god. Goodness, look at those FPS, okay. <laughs> the GPU is actually maxed out, which is not a common occurrence in Valorant because it's so easy to run. Uh, usually the, G the CPU is gonna be the bottleneck here. Okay. There's another one right here, I hear him. Oh my gosh, it teleported me slightly. If I manage to win this with packet loss, I, I will be kind of impressed still. Oh god, okay, that guy didn't really care about me whatsoever. Ah, got him, got him. <laughs> that was really bad, but it worked. <laughs> okay, okay. What? Oh, she's, he's right there. Oh god, damn it. Whew. Okay, really needed that health. What the heck are you doing? Oh, 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 too many, too many. All right, only one left, guys. Only one left to go. We got this. He's probably waiting for me there. Yep, there he is. <laughs> nice. Okay, so to no one's surprise, I actually won that. No, just kidding. Uh, to no one's surprise, this was really good. You know, it's just CSGO will run pretty much the same with extremely high FPS. So, yeah, that's why I won't really test it. But it's, it's an amazing experience. We're playing Fortnite right now. And no, we're not going to get a thousand FPS inside of the game. As you can see, <laughs> we're playing it at the 1440p resolution using using the high settings and the DirectX 12 API. I'm not testing DirectX 11 because the game stutters more in DirectX 11 than DirectX 12. It's kind of broken, you know, in terms of optimization. As always, we're dropping in the whipping woods because it's more demanding for the GPU to render. A couple of stutters, yeah, very big stutters while dropping, but that's just because the game is broken. And now that we're here, I'm gonna start counting the FPS and get mad at the game for performing so poorly. In terms of frame time consistency, Consistency, at least so yeah whenever it's not stuttering it's actually a very smooth experience you can play at 1440p high without a problem and of course if you want a competitive experience you can always drop the resolution to 1080p or the settings to low or competitive whatever I'm here testing the GPU so I won't really make it easier on it for those of you that aren't really familiar with Fortnite this game used to run really really well back in like 2018 or 19 and then it got a massive update which changed the graphics and stuff and since then it's actually been kind of hard to run at least on high and epic settings you know oh gosh what a stutter there <laughs> yeah that's that's definitely the problem with fortnite they they are breaking the game with every single season what the? okay all right oh boy okay what have i done i don't even know if that kills people to be honest <laughs> okay so i think that's been it for fortnite it runs really well in terms of average fps but 
the stutters just ruin the experience for everybody and they don't seem to care. And for the last game of the video we got the optimization mess that is Cyberpunk 2077. We're playing this one at 2560 by 1440 or 1440p resolution once again at medium settings using high textures because well 12 gigs of VRAM you know. Uh, so this is the medium settings preset. We're also utilizing some uh, resolution scaling here at 85% so it's not native 1440p and the crowd density is set to high so let's see yeah i just opened this game at native 1440p and medium settings and it was getting very close to 30 fps like 33 around there so yeah that would probably drop it from 30 frames per second so i decided to go with 85 percent resolution scale which still looks pretty good even on a 32 inch 1440p monitor so if this was my main gpu i really think i'd play like this i think that 45 fps on average or around that is pretty decent in cyberpunk considering that this game is a complete optimization mess like it is kind of broken you know in terms of performance it's dropping into the 30s still at 85% resolution which is very underwhelming I'm going to the most demanding little street here in this area of the map to show you the FPS there but so far it's playable not the best experience but I don't think anybody is having a, a really, really great experience in this game unless you have a 3080 or one of the newer GPUs. So this is it right here. It's dropping into the mid 30s at times. Not too bad. And that just happened. <laughs> yeah, although this is not very good, I will still call this playable. And if you really, really want to play Cyberpunk, a Titan X will do just fine. Especially if you want to play at 1080p, you know, that, that will get higher averages than these. So yeah, this is not too bad, but it's nothing impressive either still playable though so i'll give it that so my friend you actually made it to the conclusion of the video congratulations you watched like half an hour of a crazy dude benchmarking a titan x Thank you for that. <laughs> Do I recommend the GeForce GTX Titan X Maxwell in 2021? And I don't recommend it because it's old and it's power hungry. The performance is there and it actually surprised me even at 1440p in a lot of titles. But considering that you can get GTX 1070s and 980 Ti's even for way less than this, well, it doesn't really make sense to go for a Titan X. That's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys in the next one very soon. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.